My favourite story, and I think a number of people's favourite stories growing up as a child, was the very hungry caterpillar. First of all, because the caterpillar liked to eat, and I do like a good meal. Growing up as a fat brown kid with glasses who didn't really fit in with the rest of my class and was probably a little bit weird and stuff, I looked at that book and I remember thinking that this idea of transformation would possibly really fit in with what would happen in my own life. Say it with me. Shh. Or you'll wake. I wonder what it'll wake. <gasps> the dragon! There's a dragon in the cave! So today we are reading a book called Nimesh the Adventurer. Really, Nimesh? Oh, I wonder where Nimesh has gone next. <laughs> the other book that we're reading is I'm a Girl by Yasmin Ismail. And what I like about both of these books is that they are written by people of colour from different cultures as well. Um, and I think it's really good that we're diversifying in terms of what sort of stories we put forward for children. Can you cartwheel? Anyone cartwheel? Can you cartwheel? There's been a number of events in London, in Manchester, and they've been absolutely brilliant. Um, I think there's definitely time for diversifying in terms of non-white performers. It can potentially make that event more accessible to non-white audience members. It's home and who's that? It's mummy. And she's got a beautiful sari on. I personally saw real benefit to having someone like me on stage um, because I think it's really vitally important that children are aware that people like myself exist. There are people that are brown and queer and a bit chubby and different. And it's really important for um, future generations to see that. I've noticed that when we posted the event on Facebook, a few parents were questioning whether it was um, something that they wanted to bring their child to. I think it's the decision and choice of the parent to be on board with being part of the future or not. This is the first uh, drag event that we've been to. It's lovely, really nice, loves it. Really nice. It's <laughs> just a really, really interesting story. And, uh, all the kids were entranced. So for me it's important that she grows up knowing that there's lots of different types of people in the world and that she can be whoever she wants to be as well. I think there are enough people out there who are ready to embrace a future that doesn't look like today and that's really powerful and really important. <laughs>